Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this to-do list application using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And uh, this is how it works. We can see that we have this uh, input field over here and if I type any task over here, so I just type edit video and let's press enter. And we can see that the task is added over here. And even if I refresh this page, the task still remains over here because uh, we are using the local storage of the browser to save this. And we can add more tasks over here. So if I just type create a presentation and uh, we can see that the second task is added over here. And now we can complete this task by clicking on this complete button. And we can also delete this task by clicking on this uh, delete button. So this is how this uh, to-do list application works. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. Now before adding this to our blogger website, let's fix a bug that we have in our design. Here we can see that we have this task and if I click on this remove button and now if I refresh this page, we can see that the task is displayed again. So the last task is not being removed. So that's the bug. So let's go back to our code. And here in this code, here we have the code for removing the task. And here we'll also add the code to update the local storage. So if you scroll up, we can see that we have created this function called save tasks in which we are storing the data to the local storage. So we are storing the data from the tasks to the local storage. So let's call this function save tasks. So here, in this event listener for the remove button, let's type save tasks. And uh, now let's go ahead and uh, remove this. And now let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the task is no more displayed. So everything is uh, working all right. Right now let's go ahead and add this to our blogger website. So let's go to our blogger dashboard and uh, we will add this uh, app inside a post. So let's click on new post. And I'll just name it to do app. And here the first thing we need to do is change this into the HTML view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and uh, let's go to the style.css file. And let's copy everything from this line of code till uh, here. Let's copy this and paste it over here inside this style tag. And uh, let's go back to the CSS and let's also copy this color from here. And we'll just keep the font as it is. So let's copy this color and let's paste it over here inside this to do container. Right now let's go ahead and uh, add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file and uh, let's copy all this HTML from this line of code till here. Now you can safely go ahead and delete this code if you want, this commented code. So let's go ahead and copy from here till uh, here. And let's paste it over here. And now let's add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag for that. And let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now here we can see that we have some problems in the JavaScript. So what we need to do is we need to make some changes in uh, this uh, conditional statement over here. So here what we are doing is that if the task is not completed, then we are adding this icon. And if the task is completed, we are adding this icon right here. But uh, it is showing some errors over here in this uh, blogger post. So let's go ahead and change this into a simple if and else statement. So I'll just delete all of this from here. And now let's go ahead and add an if condition. So here let's tap if and let's tap t dot completed. And here let's copy this uh, line of code from here. And let's paste it over here inside this if condition. And let's add an else. And let's copy the same code over here as well. Now if the task is completed, we'll just add an icon over here. And if the task is not completed, we will add a different icon over here. So let's go to heroicons.com. Right here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for circle, which is the icon that we used. So I'll just use this icon right here. So let's click on copy SVG. 
let's go back over here and i'll just change this into single quotes because for the svg we have double quotes so let's paste the code of the icon over here and wherever we have line breaks we'll just go ahead and remove those right now let's go ahead and copy the other icon so let's click on solid and let's copy this icon from here and let's paste it over here so i'll just change this into single quotes and paste the icon over here and let's remove the line breaks and now we don't seem to have any errors over here so let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm right here we have our post so let's click on view and here we have our app displayed and we have some problems in the styling so we'll fix it in a minute let's go ahead and test whether this is working so let's tap task number one and let's click on add and we have the first task displayed and let's refresh this and the task is still here let's click on remove and it is working all right let's refresh this and we don't have any tasks but i think we have the wrong icons so here we can see that we have this icon when the task is not completed and we have the other icon when the task is completed so we need to reverse this so let's go back and let's go to the post and here we are checking whether the task is completed so i'll just add an exclamation over here to reverse this condition so let's click on update and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see that we have the correct icons let's add one more task so i'll just tap upload the video and we have the other task displayed over here and the remove button is also working all right right now let's go ahead and fix this text inside this button right here so let's right click over here and let's click on inspect and uh, let's scroll down and let's see whether we have any styles by the theme so here we can see we have this style called word break and it is set to break word so we need to set this to normal so let's go back to our post and let's go to the css and here let's type word break and let's set it to normal and let's click on update and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the button looks all right so everything is working all right let's delete both these tasks and let's refresh and we can see that we don't have any tasks displayed over here so that's basically how you can add a to do app to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.